Beijing. Hello from Beijing. Today, Linda and I will be talking to Snow, a travel consultant. Welcome, Snow. Hello. Hello. Snow, can you talk to us about some of the challenges that newcomers face when they move to Beijing? <clears throat> I think, you know, people from a different country, when they come to Beijing, they have, you know, their own different challenge. But the biggest one, I think that would be, you know, the language and uh, culture. So that's why, you know, in the Wudao that uh, special district, uh, a lot of the foreigner new you know camera they live there because they have a lot of a language school over there. So I would think the biggest one that's the language and the food because people from a different culture they eat you know, different you know their own food when they come to China they're they're gonna you know it takes a long time for them to get used to eat some you know the real Chinese this is real Chinese dish. And the rest of the country are like, you know, like the Korean people, Indian people, or British. When they come, they have their, they have, they have their own challenge. Okay. Now, could you say the same? Tell us the same thing in Chinese. Um, I think that is to say. 全世界的人来到北京或者来到一个陌生的国家，最主要的问题啊，还是语言和这个吃的。像你比方说在北京的五道口，就很多外国人在那儿聚居，是因为那儿有好多语言学校，他们在那儿很容易先开始语言课程。然后除此之外，不同的国家的人来到北京之后，他们。有着不同的饮食习惯，到北京可能一下子很难以在短时间之内适应。在另外，你比方说韩国人呀，或者法国人呀，或者印度人，他们来到北京，因为他们有不同的他们自己的文化，可能会有不一样的这个这个这个问题。但是最大的问题，我认为还是语言和吃。What are some interesting activities newcomers could find when they visit the city so when they first move here? Set down here. I think most of the foreigners I know that live in Beijing, they have their own, you know, like a small community. They have their own friends. And so most of the things that were during the weekend, they have their, you know, their small, you know, like a party. And they cook their own food, not good to the Chinese restaurant. And, uh, and cook their own food, or they go to, you know, some beautiful park, like uh, the Summer Palace. I knew some of the, you know, the foreigners that live in Beijing. Almost once a week, they go to Summer Palace. They still not get, you know, bored of this, or go to, you know, some, uh, you know, the Great Wall. Right. So the outdoor sports are always there in their small community party, there. And there, for a short time, like one year or something, I really think the foreigners, they, they can't really, you know, appreciate the real Chinese, you know, like uh, our native life. They have their own community, they have uh, their own friends. But uh, they will do outdoor sports a lot. So they would have difficulty meeting somebody with their same interests? Oh, with Chinese? Right. No. I, I, I know, you know, many like foreigners here, I think uh, only when they need some help or, you know, really have some meeting, something to do, they call you. Normally, they don't you know, entertain them with the natives. At least they work together They're in the same company or doing the same business, probably they do together, not a real, you know, citizens. Even, you know, like I speak English, some of the, I know the people, you know, they, they speak English, but we don't go to somewhere, you know, often, just when they need it. You know, my help, so they contact me. They're not right. really. Well, that sounds really interesting. Yeah, that makes it easy too. It makes it really easy. So, 
you mind sharing that in Chinese? The activities. Uh, I think that is, that is, old people who come to China have their own little communities. They are really very difficult to integrate into the life of Beijing life. They are really difficult to integrate into the life of Beijing life. They are really difficult to integrate into the life of Beijing life. They are really difficult to integrate into the life of Beijing life. They are really difficult to integrate into the life of Beijing life. They are really difficult to integrate into the life of Beijing life. They are really difficult to integrate into the life of Beijing life.